I'm just going to quickly go through the next. I think you do they have this as well? Because uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be in this field because I can help people continue to drive even with a disability. So um, this slide, will, this uh, <coughs> presentation will tell about different uh, types of adaptive equipment to make it possible to drive. Um, in my car, I have a car program, which I don't have a, a, a high-tech van, which Kessler and other places have. I have a car, and it has hand controls, four types. It has a, a left gas pedal, spinner knob, um, secondary controls, turn signal crossovers, <coughs> and uh, that type of thing. So it's considered low-tech, but I've helped a lot of people get back to driving. So. So in order to drive, you'll have to be evaluated by a certified driver rehab specialist, and he'll give you a prescription to get adaptive equipment put in your car, and then you'll go to the state and get a test air road test. Some of the equipment available are uh, hand controls, I think there's a list of them here, and like I say, there's, there's a lot of types on the market, there's, most of them are on the left side, and it's uh, push for brake, right angle for acceleration, or rocking motion for acceleration, or twist for acceleration, or pull. Those are the four types I have. There is one on the market which has a, an accelerator ring, so inside the steering wheel is another ring that you push with your thumbs for acceleration, which is nice because you don't need any kind of a <coughs> spinner knob to use that. So that brings us to spinner knobs. Uh, when you use hand controls with the left hand, you'll have to steer with the opposite or the right hand because you have to have one hand on gas and brake and the other for steering. And, uh, and then for secondary controls, there's, there's types of electronic devices you can hook up, you know, toggle switches for horn and wiper and uh, turn signal where you can stay low tech and just get a crossover bar to the right, close to the spinner so you can, because most turn signals are on the left. Um, then I have a picture of the left gas pedal. So if you have a right amputation or paralysis on the right, you can drive with the left foot. And uh, it's a good way to go. Also available is reduced effort steering. So if the client doesn't have enough strength to turn the wheel, you can have the effort reduced to zero, which is it's very hard to drive. You know. And of course, joystick, which they have at Kessler. They have uh, people who drive with a joystick. And uh, that takes a lot of training, though. You know, I'm not qualified to do that. I've never gotten that area. And the last thing I'd recommend would be uh, the rain sensor. Wipers that come on when they sense any moisture. So um, I think that's a good piece of equipment. And that's basically it as far as any questions about driver rehab. I can also train you with the equipment before you're ready to go back and take your road test. Is that something that's usually um, covered by your insurance or, or no? Good question. <laughs> but it's not. Medicare won't cover it. Mm -hmm. Most insurances won't cover it. Mm -hmm. So my program is self-pay. Mm -hmm. And you'll pay up front and then see if you can get money back from your insurance. I've had a uh, workers' comp will pay for it. Mm -hmm. uh, vocational rehab. Mm -hmm. A person needs to uh, drive to go to work, they'll pay for the, uh, they'll pay for the equipment too. They'll pay for lessons, evaluation, and, uh, and the equipment. And sometimes uh, the, the private insurances may pay. I've had clients call, you know, and argue for it, and they, they paid it. So. What, what is the cost of something like that? It's for my evaluation, which is two hours. It's three hundred and thirty dollars, mm -hmm. which is pretty reasonable because uh, the other places are three fifty, four hundred, 
and that's for two hours, an hour in a clinic, one hour in the clinic, and then an another hour in the car. So, and then if you need a lesson, it's 165 for an hour on top of that. Sounds better than driving with my husband. <laughs> <laughs>